Hey guys, what is up? It's Pletty, and today we're going to talk about a popular web server known as Nginx. I'll guide you through how to install it on your own Linux server with just a few simple steps. Importantly, we will be performing all these actions on Rocky Linux 9. All these steps should work on Rocky Linux 8, uh, so keep that in mind as we proceed, uh, but I just thought to let you know. Uh, before we begin, ensure you're logged into your server, where it, rather it's a bare metal or a virtual machine, and have uh, you will need to have root or sudo access. Once you have all that, we should be able to start. The first step is to update our system by running the command sudo dnf update space dash y. The dash y flag stands for yes or assume yes, which automatically confirms any prompts that appear. Um, you will need to put in your password and once you do that you will go ahead and see uh your system updating uh this will take a little bit so i'm just going to fast forward until it's completed Now that our system is up to date, we're going to run the command one more time just to confirm. We should get a dependencies resolved, nothing to do, and complete. So we should be good to go now. Uh, let's move on to the installation of Nginx uh, using the command sudo dnf install y nginx. That should be a pretty quick one. Now that Nginx is installed, let's start it and enable it to run at startup. To do this, we will be using the command systemctl. So it's going to be sudo systemctl start nginx. And it's going to be sudo systemctl enable nginx. If you need a quicker way to do that, you can actually just up arrow on your keyboard and then switch the word from start to enable. And then one thing I like to do, you don't have to do it, but I like to do it for confirmation is sudo systemctl status nginx. This will just confirm that the nginx server service is running and that is the command to do that. Uh, we will need to open up ports 80 and 443 in our firewall to allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic. We do this with the firewall CMD commands. So it's gonna be sudo firewall dash cmd space dash dash permanent add service equals http and then the same thing as before we're going to up arrow and just add an s for https and then we're going to do a sudo firewall dash cmd dash dash reload this will just reload all of the firewall and to uh make sure all the commands are good that we just did now you should be able to navigate to your server's IP address and see the Nginx uh, welcome test server page. So we'll go ahead and do that now. If you do need, if you don't know your IP address, what you can do on your server is ifconfig. For us, it's going to be 192.168.0.28. So we're going to paste that into our browser and press enter. And that's it. I mean, uh, as you can see, we have HTTP server test page. Uh, it says powered by Rocky Linux and Uh This is just, we know that it is working. Um, to change all your HTML, CSS, your JavaScript files, you will follow these lines right here. So for systems using Nginx, you can add your own content, content in a location of your choice and edit the root configuration directive in forward slash etc forward slash nginx forward slash nginx.com that's where you do that this tutorial is more to show you how to get it up and running rather than configuration of the file um, but if you would like to see that please let me know um, but you've now learned how to install nginx on your server as always i hope you find this guide helpful if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos drop a comment below don't forget to like share and subscribe for more uh, linux tips and tutorials and thank you guys so much for watching